<laughs> Precious cargo. I actually started playing netball um, and I was also a shot putter and discus thrower. Um, and then when I was 12, um, I got into basketball. It was actually really exciting when we heard Megan was coming and I actually did get a chance, I don't know if you knew I was there, but I got to watch you play basketball before you head out to Tokyo and um, it was good to see her, um, her movement and what, you know, what she already possessed and how we were going to try and change that into a netball set. Even though you, it would seem the same, basketball and netball are completely different, I think. Um, it's a realisation for Megan as well. With basketball, you can just kind of set screens, you just kind of stand there. Whereas in netball, it's like you have to do it and then quickly move out of it. Like you can't just stand there and be yeah. stagnant. We have the tallest netball player in our team, which is why we've worked so hard to make things easier for you because when you're that tall, you can't really teach someone to be that tall, but we can teach you how to, you know, move and catch and pass. You get hit before you land, yeah? It's been awesome. Since I came in, I think, in August, I started I'm um, discussing working out with Maria and Kat. Um, I don't think I ever told her this, but I did idolise them growing up. And, <laughs> I don't know, like, sure. I don't, <laughs> we just have a lot of fun, as you can tell. Like, we just joke around. We don't take each other seriously. But when it comes to game time, like, that's, that's when we know we need to get in the zone. Yeah. We always kind of bond. We always kind of have a good talk. It might not be about netball. It might be about family, shopping, love life, but it's, it's Possible always, boyfriends. Possible boyfriends, yeah. So it's, it's always good to have that that connection, because I, I, obviously being an only child, like, I don't have that sister bond with many people, so I just kind of treat these girls like my older sisters, which has been awesome. We can be really good friends. We can um, hit and kick and punch each other like sisters, but at the end of the day, I have to keep my feet moving so that I can keep her off the court. And at the, at the same time, she has to keep picking her game up to kick me off the court. Yeah, it just feels better to catch. Like, I'm not awkward. Outside of netball, Megan and I have gone up to Te Pai netball courts just down here and doing some fast footwork, just helping each other be the best that we can be because we believe that when one of us is on the court, we can easily change it and the entire game will change. And so it's like we said before, it's not about one person, it's about how we can impact the game. My one goal that I've always thought is just to do whatever I can for the team um, to get us into that final and to, to win that cup. Just whatever the team asks for me, I'm going to do it um, without any hesitation. I respect anyone who respects me enough to just take me down, which is what we need here at the Mystics, and that's what we do to each other while we're really good friends. I know for a fact that she's trying to get me off the court, and that's, that's OK with me because that's what's helping me. Yes, let's get the friendship friend. Yay!